Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is a match with you, West Ham United versus Manchester United at the London Stadium. It finished 1 0 to West Ham United. That is an absolute shambolic performance by Manchester United. That really was just awful. There was no passion, no drive. The play was too slow. It's almost like fucking watching Manchester United from the last few years where they just absolutely nothing whatsoever. I mean, David De Gea, I'm De Gea's biggest fan, but I cannot defend him on this one. I mean, how did he not save it? How did he not catch it? All he had to do was catch it, make a simple catch, or just push the ball away, and then says he fucking drops it. And allows West Ham to score. I mean, that's an absolute joke. I'm sorry. You cannot defend that. You simply, even if you are a Dan Adahaya fan, you absolutely cannot defend that. He cost us massively today, but it wasn't just him. The whole team just were not at it. It's as simple as that. Now, Manchester United's top four hopes are in real jeopardy. They really are, because... Liverpool now have momentum, and if we bottle it, this will be an absolute failure in the season. I will declare it a failure in the season. I don't care if we've won the League Cup. We've been in charge in the top four position for a while now, and if we throw it away, I'm absolutely going to declare it a failure in the season. That's not me being negative, that's just me being realistic. I mean, just absolutely terrible. Luke Wakehurst, I mean, why is this fucking geezer starting matches? I mean, he's absolute wank. He did nothing, nothing at all. No wonder why Anthony Marshall come on. I mean, he's fucking useless as well. But Luke Wakehurst is just absolutely... Oh, fuck off back to Burnley, yeah? Shocking, honestly. But there's no defending that whatsoever by Manchester United. I mean, that's just like up there, how it was with Holly and Solskjaer and that sort of football today. Shocking. I mean, just Marashia, he played in a left-back position. He made a crucial block once. I mean, but yeah, defensively, since Marshall and... Moran have been injured. We looked nowhere near good enough, honestly. And I knew this would come back to bite us on the ass. Once Sam 2 got injured for the rest of the season, I knew that we just weren't able to defend the same way. I mean, fair play to Luke Shaw and thanks for Lindsoff, but even Lindsoff today looks very shaky. And recently, Luke Shaw has seen superb. But today, very shaky. So, yeah, it's just an awful day for Manchester United Football Club. Honestly, just embarrassing. I mean, it's like the players just didn't care. They didn't want to play Eric Ten Hag. And I'm worried if we do not strengthen the squad and some of these players just down tools, they will throw Eric Ten Hag under the bus. But hopefully not. Hopefully, the players will carry on listening to Ten Hag. Because I do not want Ten Hag thrown under the bus. Because if he's thrown under the bus, whoo, back to square one again. I mean, just I have high standards in this football club. And if we bottle top four, it's absolutely disgrace and embarrassing to this badge. But, yep, I mean, just we created a few opportunities, you know. But Bruno Fernandes, I mean, he could have scored one, but... He did a use of shot outside the box. I mean, what the fuck was that all about, Bruno Fernandes? Seriously. I mean, just, wow. Unbelievable. Marcus Rashford, he hit the post. But, I mean, God, I say West Ham deserved the victory. They really did. And I believe they're now safe from relegation. And David Moyes finally wins the game against us again. It's been a while, but he's done it again. Ah, oh, fucking heck, man, honestly. What an absolute joke this Manchester United team is. 
Anthony should have scored as well. But Anthony, at times, is a greedy bastard on the ball. He really is. Honestly, he does like heading. He tries his best, but he is a greedy motherfucker, that's for sure. Right, let's get on to the player ratings, shall we? Dan De Gea, zero, absolutely zero. I mean, you got to give him zero, haven't you? That was such an awful mistake. You had to catch it. A simple catch, and he just lets it go right through him into the net. I don't understand it. I really don't. De Gea saved our bacon for so many years. We would have been fucked without him. Some Manchester United fans say, no, oh, we need a new goalkeeper. It's time to invest in a new goalkeeper. But I'll never be down a day out. He had a shit game today. And I called him out for it, but I'll never be down a day out because simply all the hard work he's done for us over the years. He was shit today, but there's no way I'll ever want him to be put on the transfer market, honestly. Right, Aaron Wambasaka, I I probably give him a five. I mean, no player really deserves sixes or sevens really. Yeah, at times he defended well, but yeah, just not enough really, is there? Fixer lends off three, very shaky today. Luke Shaw three, shocking. I mean, he also looks rocky the bank today. Marasia. I'll give him a five. I thought he tried his best, to be honest. Casemiro, five. I mean, yeah, again, he tried his best, didn't he? Ericsson, four. I mean, not the best of games for him, to be honest, for Christian Ericsson. Anthony, five. I mean, should have scored. Greedy bastard, really. That's one thing I don't like about Anthony. He is very, very... Greedy. Marcus Rashford, five. I mean, should have scored. He hit the post. Don't think he's the worst player out on the pitch, but we needed a lot more. Luke Wakers, two. Just absolutely dreadful. The only reason why I'm giving him a two is because he did do crucial block in the first half to stop West Ham from scoring. But yeah, that, that's nowhere near good enough. I mean, Jaden Sancho, he's nowhere near good enough either. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a two. Shocking, honestly. But, yeah, manager ratings. Eric Ten Hogg and the same section. Eight out of ten. I thought he set up well. Dagan Moyes for the same section. Eight out of ten. Referee's performance. Seven out of ten. Yeah, so that's a match with you done. Player rating, son. Manager ratings. We now have wall snakes at Old Trafford, which that will not be easy at all. But um, anyway, join me. I'll do a preview for that probably on Friday. Then obviously Saturday morning I'll do a pre-match. Then Saturday I'll do a match with you. Yeah, we need to bounce that command. We need to get his top four. We cannot afford to bottle it. Simple bottle jobs. Nowhere near good enough. I'm absolutely raging. Shocking by Dan Hedaya. By the whole team. Sort your fucking selves out. Bye-bye.